Hello, welcome back to the Coding Circus. Today we're going to have some fun by uh, creating our own avatars uh, that look really cool and can have uh, our animations that we add in ourselves in order to get a much cooler experience. And we're going to do that with a piece of software online that works with Vizard and it's called uh, Maximo. Let's take a look at that. It is free to sign up and create an account. It's just created through Adobe. So you would just click sign up for free and create it through your Google account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna click log in. And I'm gonna use Google, and you should use Google too. I'm gonna to use my school account. And across the top here, you'll notice there are characters and animations. So I can go through and look at the different characters and pick a character that I want to use. This guy looks kind of scary and cool. Yeah, I like him. We're going to use him. And we're going to download him. We want to make sure we leave both of these the same. We want the T pose. If we switch this to original pose, it's not going to work the right way. Uh, so everything has to be left alone. So we're going to download that. And we're going to save him into a folder. I have an avatars folder. So I'm gonna create a new folder for everything that's gonna go with that avatar. You should always create new folders for these things. And we're just gonna call him zombie because his name is too long otherwise. And it's called skeleton zombie T avenge. And I'm just gonna shorten his name to zombie. And download him, it'll take a second well, it's a little bit longer than a second to download. And I'm gonna go into the inspectors. I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna to go to open, and I'm gonna look for the folder where I just put him in zombie. Let's see if he's downloaded, he has. I'm gonna click open. And there we go, you'll notice when he opens, he has two animations on him already. Um, that's important. If you don't see that, that means you probably didn't download it correctly. If we look over here, again, we have to be clicked on this zombie.fbx file. We can see our animation is listed. Remember we talked about the different states, state one, two, three, and four, and state zero. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, probably shouldn't have been on video, but it is now. Um, we're going to import a new animation, but to get the animation, we have to download the animation separately. So let me go back to our Maximo, and you'll notice there's another tab here that called is animations. And I can add any one of these animations to my character. Oh, let's say old man idol. That kind of looks fun. And we're just gonna download that. Leave all these the same. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna download a couple of them while I'm here. Uh, let's see, go back to the right folder. There we go. And then maybe a, I'm gonna look, we can search too. I'm gonna to search for a walking one. I like that one, kind of a limping walk for him. And maybe a sideways walk. Like a sidestep. I think there's a strafe walk. There's a right and a left. I think I want the right and the left. So we'll download both of those. Actually, there's an entire locomotion pack. I wonder if that, that comes with 12 different motions.
see what that comes with. I think we can download all of them. Let's try downloading the whole pack. That should come as a zip file, and I think we'll have to unzip it when we get it, and we can add all those animations all at once. So we've got 12 different motions. So it does come as a zip file. I'm going to put it in my zombie folder. We'll go to my zombie folder once it downloads, and I'm going to have to extract all of those. We go extract all and I don't want to go to locomotion pack I just want it to go into zombie I'll skip the one that's already there there we go and get rid of my zip file to clean up my folders and so I have all these actions I can add to my zombie so I'm gonna go into my zombie and start adding in animations so import Let's see, we got idle already. Um, well, we'll add an idle. And it shows the framework. There's idle, just kind of standing there. Import walking. import some of the other ones. I wonder if we can import more than one. Let's see, jump, strafe. Let, oh, I think we can just import all of these. This is going to be much faster. Okay, I think that gets them all. And it's going to, I think it's going to import them all for us. Oh, look at that. We're just going to hit import, and I think it'll get everything. And there we go. So now we have 15 different actions, and we can order them. We can decide which one do we want to happen first. Uh, do we you know, want walking here, left, right, turn? So we can kind of order these however we want. Uh, if I want to kind of put that one there, I can. And notice how it reorders everything for me. So I'll put that back down there. Okay. Stick them way at the bottom. There we go. So now we have all of our actions. We can kind of play them and see how they play out. And now we're all done with our actions and our character. We got to save them as one file. So we're going to go to File, Save, Zombie.osgb in our zombie folder. And then we're going to go back into our code. And I'm going to use the motions project I had worked on before. I'm going to go to the avatar zombie folder. And it's really important this time that we use add avatar as opposed to add child. If we don't use add avatar, it will not have the actions associated with it. It will just be a thing and we're going to get some errors in our code when we try to use those actions. So it's in the zombie folder in avatars and it's called OSGB. Did I spell something wrong? Avatars Z O M B I E, and then I saved it as O S Z O M B I E. Why can't you find it? There we go. I made my own mistake. I had saved motions files to a different folder, uh, and it, it was not in the same folder as my avatars folder, so it could not find it. So now I'm going to run this, and we should be good to go. Oh, he looks a little dark. So we might want to add in a different light for him, but let's see if we can get him to work. And you can see that he has the animations built in. Might have to do some work on him, get him to be a little bit brighter. Not sure why he's so dark in our world. Maybe our world is just dark. Oh, 
Okay, so it looks like it's just that one zombie character is really dark. So I went with a mutant instead and added in those actions. Same actions, just a mutant now. So now when I use my motions actions, I can see my avatar has all the different motions that I programmed into it. And if I didn't put a state in, if there's no motion associated with it, then it just will not do that action. Um, again, make sure you're using the add avatar and have fun creating your own actions and your own avatars. And I will see you next time.